Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this channel and today I am going to start the first part of an ASP.NET 6 microservice with Web API CRUD using MongoDB and clean architecture. So this part is a clean architecture part. So what is a clean architecture? So let's start with the definition of a clean architecture. So first of all, let me tell you that this project we shall be implementing the clean architecture in code and clean architecture puts the business logic and application model at the center of design or center of application and the infrastructure and implementation details depend on the application core rather than the other way around. And this is also known as inversion of dependency. So let's see a brief overview of clean architecture. So you can see that this has got a domain layer. This is at the core at the center and this is the application layer surrounding the domain layer. You can see the application and domain both comprise of a core and the next outermost layer is infrastructure and followed by the last layer which is the outermost that is the framework layer. Okay, the core of the system is the center of design as I just told and consists of the domain and the application layers. The core does not depend on the outward layers. Okay, and this is implemented through abstraction. And let's see an ASP.NET Core architecture. Now, this ASP.NET Core web app, it has got controllers, view models, views, response caching filter, model validation filter, other filters, etc. and ASP.NET Core identity. Now, this ASP.NET Core web app is dependent upon the application core project. So, this one way arrow pointing to the application core project from the ASP.NET Core web app is the convention taken for showing the dependency of the web app with the application core project. So the core project consists of the POCO inter entities, the uh, business services, the domain events, the interfaces, application exceptions, value objects, aggregation and specifications and then we have got this infrastructure project so asp.net core web app is also dependent on um, this one is dependent on the infrastructure project which in its own turn is dependent on the data source and the third party services and the infrastructure project consists of the in memory data cache the entity framework core db context the redis cache service and this is the azure service bus accessor sms service email service and any other web api so this is the sort of asp.net core architecture and this is photo courtesy microsoft now let's see that this kind of uh, clean architecture is pretty good and well suited for the automated this because you can see this is the application core which has got the interface entities and domain services and this is isolated and because of its isolation it is actually very amenable very suitable for unit tests because it is pretty easy to write automated unit tests as the application code does not depend upon infrastructure so we will see in the next diagram so this is infrastructure layer this is external dependencies like sql cloud etc and you can carry out the integration tests. Now the integration tests, how it fits into this architecture is shown here. Okay. So all together you can carry out an integration test of this part. Now next is the UI layer doesn't have any direct dependency on types defined in the infrastructure project. Hence it is relatively easy to swap out implementations to facilitate testing or in response to changing applications requirement and ASP.NET Core has built in use and support for dependency injection that makes this clean architecture the most appropriate way to structure non-trivial applications like some complex application as compared to the monolithic normal ASP.NET Core typical applications. So this is um, clean architecture is it supports uh, dependency injection 
of the shelf out of the box so it is um, very suitable for the clean architecture now how do we organize code in clean architecture now each project has clear responsibilities in a clean architecture and certain types or classes are therefore belonging to each project and there are folders corresponding to these types in appropriate project and let's see the application core the application core consists of the business model and the business model includes the entities services and interfaces the interfaces in the application core have the abstractions for operations that will be performed in the infrastructure these operations could be data access file system access network calls etc the services or interfaces defined in this layer application core layer that is sometimes need to work with non entity types that have no dependencies on the ui or infrastructure so these can be defined as simple data transfer objects next comes the application core types so entities that are business model classes and that are which are persisted it consists of the, those entities which are persisted and group of entities or aggregates and interfaces domain services specifications custom exceptions and domain events and handlers so next is the infrastructure so infrastructure project that's also a part of the overall scheme of things in clean architecture projects so there is a infrastructure project it typically includes the data access implementations and in an asp.net core web typical web application these implementations include the entity framework db context any migration objects for entity framework core and data access implementation classes and the most common way to abstract data access implementation code is the use of repository design pattern which is so common these days in any crud application you'll see the usage of repository pattern on which a crud application is structured and it should be additionally containing the implementation of services that must interact with infrastructure concerns now these services implement the interfaces defined in the application core so infrastructure project must have a reference to the application core project so what are the infrastructure types so these are the infrastructure types like db context migration in entity framework core and repositories data access implementation types file logger and smtp notifier that are infrastructure specific types so next comes the ui layer so the ui layer in an asp.net core mvc application is the entry point for the application this project should ui layer project should reference the application core project once again the types for this project should interact with infrastructure strictly through the interfaces defined in the application core as we'll soon see in the when we start developing the application from the scratch so direct instantiation to the infrastructure layer types should not be allowed in the ui layer that means any static calls to the infrastructure layer types should be disallowed in the ui layer next we will see the ui layer types the ui layer types are controllers views view models which are very common commonly used in asp.net mvc core startup program custom filters custom middleware now the startup class or just the program class in asp.net 6 is responsible for configuring the application and wiring up the implementation types to interfaces the place where this logic is performed is known as the apps composition route and is what allows dependency injection to work properly at runtime now my friends that's the end of this lecture and if you like this lecture please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and like minded and put your valuable feedback thank you